it's really easy to say that the reason that the church is the way that it is right now is just because nobody wants God, but that's not always the case. Sometimes what needs to happen is we need to have a little bit of encouragement to see God like he's revealed himself in the Bible, to see the possibilities that God wants to do through his church, and we'll get into that in the video. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, his kingdom's sure increase. Jordan Peterson has insight that uh, I don't believe a Christian would really have a problem with. And so we want to look at that at this moment, and then we're going to talk just for a second afterwards. But let's go to that here. It's really something to see constantly how many people are dying for lack of an encouraging word. And how easy it is to provide that if you're careful. Give credit where credit is due. You're a net force for good if you want to be. Do you believe you're a net force for good? Net? Yes. No one's perfect. People make their mistakes as they stumble uphill. I thought the marginalized were supposed to have a voice. It's making you emotional talking about it. Well, God, you know. It's very difficult to understand how demoralized people are. And certainly, many young men are in that category. And you get these casual insults, these incels. What do they mean? It's like, well, these men, they're... They don't know how to make themselves attractive to women who are very picky and good for them. Women, like, be picky. That's that's your gift, man. Demand high standards from your men. Fair enough. But all these men who are alienated, it's like they're lonesome and, and they don't know what to do. And everyone piles abuse on them. So um, isn't that something? He's saying this to men, right. obviously. And he's saying, you know, men, they're dying for a lack of encouraging word. It's not that there's something inherently wrong with men. It's that the men almost in some sense have lost their sense of mission. Now, I'm going to take that, and I I mean, I think biblical men, same kind of concept, but I'm going to take that and just put that all together on the church. I think the church, in some sense, is dying for lack of encouragement. Now, what I mean by encouragement, it's not like, um, yeah, I've heard people say, we just need to encourage, and that's kind of just like, just just make people feel better about themselves. That's not what I mean. While they're standing still doing nothing. I know. No. Right, yeah, that's not what we want. It's literally, um, encouragement is to instill courage. Right. To right. almost I inject agree. courage Absolutely. into people. That's what, what we're talking about here. So we as God's people, we need to be encouraged. Right. We literally need to have courage instilled in us. So then the next question is, How do we do that? Hey, now that you've watched this first video, don't stop now. Check out the next video up here, or maybe you just want to go on a binge watch and look at this playlist.